All right, how to remove U joints from the drive shaft? You've got U joint there where it goes to transmission, one here where it goes into the rear diff. I've already taken them down. Now, mind you, you want to reinstall this exactly how you took it out. That's why I've got paint here. That's going to mark up with the flange on the rear differential. And you see, I got another section of paint here, so I know to put it back exactly like that. Did the same thing on the front. Paint from the bottom side. See, I have that marked, so I know where to put it. All right, on this style U joint, you just have outer retaining rings, so you just want to grab them like that and squeeze them. Now, normally, they're going to squeeze together and be able to be removed, but these are a little rusty. So what you want to do is actually take and just tap very lightly all around here to try to break loose the rust that's holding it. I'll do that. All right, I tapped all around the edges. Now it's free, at least on one side. Which I'll be able to get a hold of here. Twist it out. So you want to repeat that for all eight of them. Every single one so far has been frozen. So, like I said, just tap around the edges and take them out. This is another example. You just tapped all around those edges and see now it's loose. I'm going to repeat that for all eight of these. All the way around. I'm going to use the ball joint kit to take these out. I'll set it up and I'll show you how to do it. All right, got this set up here. That end is on that. This set up down there. This particular one, I don't even need one of the cups because it actually fits perfect just like that. I'm going to have it lined up. Make sure you can actually press the cap all the way into the ball joint tool. I just need to hit it with the impact. You can you can see that actually is pushing in there, just like it's supposed to. And you can also look inside there and see that it's moved out. You want to keep going quite a bit more. You can see how far that pressed down into there. You can see the cap sticks out like that on the lower side. What you want to do press it out just like that just enough to get a pair of pliers a hold of it let's twist it and boom there's one now what you do is you reverse what you just did press that back the other way and take the other cap off and you're ready to go just press it back through the other way now this cap sticking out down here Two hands for this. We'll grab that cab out and then the whole thing. Now this is a very good sign. This means this is where the noise was coming from. As you can see, boy that was 100% dry inside there. This is just powder. That was definitely the noise. That's why I didn't want to come off of there. It was stuck. And that is just shredded. Now if you look at pull this off all the way now you look at this end that's more like what it should look like and that's what that one looks like look at that it's wiped out as my thumb looks beautiful that one is completely ground up clean that up a little bit so you can get a better view see this is the good side nice even wear all the way to the end this is the bad side. And there's actually even a little lip right here from it being worn down so bad. So that's definitely the issue. Now my particular issue was if I let off the gas at highway speed, right in between acceleration and deceleration had a little tiny vibration. And then over time it got a little bit worse to where if I was decelerating at say 10 miles an hour, it would give me kind of a growl noise that was going on so i'd say this is definitely the problem right there that's how you joint should look inside huh i'd say she was a little dry so as i showed you that one's off on the 
differential side. We'll go ahead and take this side off now, the drive shaft side, same way as before. Same as before, pressed it down. Pull the cap off. Then have to press it back the other way to take the other cap off. And then you'll be done with that. Here's our new U-joint. This one I bet at least has grease in it. <laughs> All right, so before you put it in, what you wanna do is clean these up. You wanna make sure there's no bad burrs on here that are gonna mess up pressing it in. You can use a little file just on the edges, not the actual flat mating surface itself. And then you also want to clean out that groove so that your new snap rings fit in well. All right, installation, the reverse of removal. I just took both caps off, put it in place, set this cap on, just very lightly tapped it to where it would actually sit in there without falling. So I could take this video and there's no cap in there. I'm going to go ahead and use this, tighten up, scooch that up, keep it nice and centered in there, make sure it doesn't get messed up. And once it's in the top, I'll put the other side of the cap on. All right, yeah, press it up. So now we're good in there. Take this off. And then take, put the cap on. There we have it. Now I'll reverse my ball joint press and press that on in the other direction. You're gonna press it in just enough to clear the retaining ring. You put your first retaining ring on and then you press it back into the other one. See this one. That one's in far enough, so I'm gonna put the ring in there. Then when I press this back on, I'm gonna press down against that ring, and I can put this ring on. As I mentioned before, I'm putting the new ring in here. A little tricky with one hand. <laughs> there we go. Seeing that seated in there. It spins nice, unlike the rusted ones we took out. When I press it back in, I'll press it against there. That'll give me room on the other side. Pressed it back in, putting it in on the other side. There we go. Let's make sure it goes in all the way. Both sides are in and pinned. Now one thing you do want to make sure is that it, it turns nice and freely, and it does. If it doesn't, all you do is take and tap on the ears a few times, and that will usually get it seated perfectly. All right, as you can see, nice and smooth. If it is tight, again, you're gonna tap like here and it'll loosen right up. We'll do the other side. All right, all the U-joints are in. I'm just going to clean this flange up with the wire wheel. Make sure it mates back up perfectly. You have to do a whole lot, just pretty light thing there. And then again, the rear diff. I'll do that and reinstall.